pandemic is a unreasonable fear. A state disaster. Fourth Mayor Betsy Price is expected to announce a stay-at-home order. China has identified the cause of the mysterious new virus. Coronavirus. Coronavirus. COVID-19. We face this unprecedented challenge. We characterize as a pandemic. Two years ago, everyone was in a state of panic because it was the start of the pandemic. Businesses didn't know what to do. People were wasting money on buying bulk toilet paper, for goodness sake. There was a lot of fear of missing out in crypto without doing research, and people were stockpiling food, and everything was going crazy. Can you imagine what your money could have been doing right now if you didn't panic buy, but you invested properly instead? Here's some information on what you could have invested in during those years. My name is Munif Ali. I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s and I've built several brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I started making these videos to share my life experiences to teach others how to become successful in life and in business. If you like the type of content I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video and share it with people who might find this useful. Here are some ridiculous stories from people who have panic bought stuff during the pandemic. With the amount of time that people got from working at home, there's no surprise there was a lot more expenses towards leisure and household supplies since some have felt demotivated from the work. They needed that leisure and that free time to help cope with the lockdown. So there was a lot of expenditure on PCs and laptops. Gaming consoles, for sure, were items that sold fast. Laptops and desktops exceeded $302 million in 2020. That's a near 13% increase from 2019 alone. Chilling out, relaxing, leisure, having fun are all important, especially during that period where nobody really knew what was going to happen. But unfortunately, some of these expenses could have gone to things that were more productive. For example, since different cities and different states were having lockdowns, a lot of hotels and resorts weren't open for a long time. So prices for these type of stocks had dropped fast during the pandemic. But if you thought ahead, you know things would eventually go back up. Look, you and I could have bought some of these stocks, just like people ended up buying games and gadgets that you probably could have put off till later. But here's an example. If you purchased Hilton stock two years ago, it would have cost $60. You would be up 110% by now. MGM, for example, was low as $11 in March of 2020, and currently it's averaging $36 a share. Think about that. Now, that's not to say it would happen every time, but it's one of those aha uh -huh moments. Aside from buying you know, fun stuff and leisure items, the most famous purchases during the early years of pandemic were necessities. People literally pushed and fought for that roll of toilet paper. Who would have thought that would have become such a thing? And during that time, toilet paper sales increased to 112% and toilet paper industry ended up with $1.5 billion by the end of March, 2020. People buying bulk of $23 worth of toilet paper per package was just an extreme waste of money sometimes. And when some of those could have gone towards your investment, but hey, I get it. We all didn't know. Imagine if you didn't have a six month supply of toilet paper right now sitting in your garage and probably collecting dust, what you could have done with all that money. All kidding aside, uh, there are plenty of sound investments. And remember when shopping centers and mall stocks also dropped because people avoided those places in large gatherings? Well, that was an indicator for you to buy their stock. For example, if you purchased Costco stock two years ago worth $290, you would have a 75% increase. Now, Target, for example, only about $100 per share. Now, it's up to $220 right now at the time of this recording. Just to take a break from this topic, I'm giving away a free book to help you with your journey to financial freedom. And if you sign up, you'll get weekly emails that are going to give you tips about investments. And if you want more technical strategies to improve your financial health, you can also join my premium list and get an extra book. Just click the link down below if you're interested. And before I tell you the last one, if you like this type of content, go ahead and apply some liberal pressure to that like and subscribe button and let me and the algorithm here know that this video is valuable to you and I'll continue to make more content like this each and every week. So also make sure that you turn on that notification bell as well so as soon as I release a video, you'll be notified. And here's some more stories that you might find pretty funny or amusing or interesting. One person claimed that they bought 100 pounds of flour, that's 140 bucks, 
She said she used it for the rest of the year, but since it was barely used, most of her flour was eaten by bugs, and she also contaminated all the other goods that she bought. Not only did she waste 140 bucks, but that $140 led to wasting other valuable resources as well. Some have also reported in their panic buying, things like buying 15 pounds of green beans. And that same person spent almost 500 bucks on other items that went to a waste. One person in her family bought $150 worth of board games and puzzles, and they said they never used them. So I'm not saying don't buy stuff, but if it's collecting dust or goes bad, it's a waste of money. Definitely, I know that this was a life-changing experience for a lot of people. Nobody knew exactly what to do. But now with just a little bit of research and budgeting before making any knee-jerk type of reactions to anything that happens, you could end up using that to invest in later. If you bought oil stocks like Marathon Oil for $5 two years ago, barely anyone was using their cars, your money would have been worth almost six times the amount now. Clothing was an opportunity to buy stocks as well. Levi's went from around $9 at their lowest in April and now is going for $18. The pandemic also stopped people from doing outdoor sports such as running, and basketball and if you were paying attention to the market you would know that sports prices vastly dropped and if you bought sports brands like under armor at nine dollars you could have waited just a year and gotten a three-time return at 27 dollars right now it's 11 dollars per share but it only shows you to be aware of the market and you have to study the market to be able to see how our attitudes and behaviors as human beings can affect every single marketplace whether it's the real estate market or the stock market or any other financial market, it's always fueled by our human behavior. So pay attention to patterns of behavior, pay attention to your own. I'm not showing you these prices or investments to tease you because I could have taken an opportunity on some of those as well and didn't. Never fall into panic buying or panic selling. These situations as an investor, you have to think about life-changing strategies over time. And it's not so much timing what's going on, but spending time in the marketplace and monitoring what your stocks are doing, what companies are doing, what decisions are being made. And typically the stock market has always been strong and it will always come back one way or another. So let this be a lesson for all of us, millennial, you know, seasoned investor. It doesn't really matter if you're just getting into the market, do your research, remain calm, make logical decisions that are not fueled by emotions alone. Just because everybody else is doing it, you should really think about doing what everybody isn't doing. And that's the advice that I can give you when it comes to starting a business, when it comes to investing. I'm not saying don't have emergency supplies. What I'm saying is really think about where you spend your money. And if you're enjoying this type of content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button. Let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video was valuable to you. And I'll continue to bring the same type of content every single week. And also make sure that that notification bell is on as well. So as soon as I come out with a video, you're informed.